Guardians hosting the Twins, and the Twins are plus 100 on the money line. The Guardians are minus 118. The over-under, eight runs. This is another one of those games where one team's a favorite on the money line and the other's a favorite on the run line, so hopefully it closes even. But as of right now, the Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 155, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And Cleveland getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 188, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright. You win, they lose by one, you win. The weather in Cleveland is supposed to be 71 degrees, a 22% chance of rain, and three mile an hour winds. So basically, a beautiful day provided that it doesn't rain. Now, Woods Richardson did not pitch against Cleveland either last year or this year. McKenzie pitched against them once last year. Five shutout innings. They won that game 2-1, to one, and he struck out 10. Minnesota is going to need some kind of bounce back after getting their asses swept by the Yankees. But seemingly, Cleveland owns them just as bad as the Yankees do. Head-to-head, -head, Cleveland's on a three-game winning streak. Cleveland is 7-3. and three. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 8-2. and two. The underdog is on a three-game winning streak. The underdog is 7-3 on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is also 7-3. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is hitting their last three. The under is 7-3, and, and the under 8 is 7-3. Now, the Twins have been playing well for Woods Richardson when he's on the mound. They did lose his last start. The over is 3-2 and two in those games, but they're 4-1 and one as a team in his last five starts. He's averaging five innings pitched, five hits, Two runs, 1.8 of which were earned, 4.6 strikeouts per game, 1.2 walks, 0.4 home runs. He gave up two home runs in his last outing that they lost. 85.6 pitches and 17.8 pitches per inning. For Cleveland, they are also 4-1 and one in McKenzie's last five starts. They also lost his last start. The under has hit in his last three starts, and the under is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. Five and a third innings pitched, 4.2 hits, 1.6 runs, 1.4 of which were earned, six strikeouts, 2.4 walks, 0.6 home runs, 84.6 pitches per game, and then 15.7 pitches per inning on average in his last five starts. The Twins are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. They're on a three-game losing streak. They are 1-4 in their last five. Six runs, six runs, four runs, five runs. Five runs and a win, one run and a loss, and then back-to-back games where they didn't score any runs against the Yankees. For Cleveland, they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 3-1 and one in their last 4, 7 runs, 7 runs, 11 runs, and then 4 runs. Back-to-back 7-0 -back shutouts, then a seven, 7 runs and a win, and then they were shut out today. And I'm pretty sure that I said that that 7-run streak was just not going to continue. This is going to, hopefully, if this lives up to the hype and both of these pitchers pitch the way that they're supposed to, this should be a pitcher's duel. And this should be a one-run game. Unfortunately, the Twins aren't playing very well. I'm going to take Cleveland with the money line. I'm going to take Cleveland getting the runs. And I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut. And please bet responsibly.